Rachel, I create colourful paintings and I make tutorials so that you can learn how to paint them too. Today I'm going to show you how I painted this colourful glowing jellyfish. This is a shortened version but if you would like to watch the whole tutorial in real time where you can paint along with me and I tell you what I'm doing step by step then this is available on my Patreon which is Rachel Froud Art along with all of my other full length art tutorials. I was gifted some paints from Lucas to create this painting and I loved using them. The colours are nice and bright and they also hold their colour when they dry which is really important for acrylic paints as it's always such a shame when the colours look really bright when they're wet and then they dry to a dull shade. This is especially important for my paintings as I love to make them as vibrant as possible. Jellyfish are great animals to paint as they are already so unique looking that it gives us an opportunity to really experiment with the colours and composition. I feel like you can paint a jellyfish in any colour you want and it would still look really good. For this painting I decided to make the jellyfish look as if it's glowing in the deep sea, so I went for a really dark blue background with a slightly lighter blue in the centre where the jellyfish is. This dark background will help to make the bright colours of the jellyfish to stand out and it will also help to emphasise the glowing effect. The colour palette I chose for this painting was blue and turquoise for the background and yellow, orange and pink for the jellyfish. To emphasise the glow I used white paint around the outline and then I used some of the background colour within the jellyfish to give the effect that it's transparent. I felt like this was really important to help to make it look more realistic as when we see jellyfish you can kind of see through them. I wanted it to look like the jellyfish is glowing from within, so I used the brightest yellows and oranges in the centre of the jellyfish, and then faded to pinks and purples and then blues as I moved further away from the glow. If you want to know the exact colours of paints that I used, I explain all of that and more in the full length tutorial on my Patreon, which is linked in the description of this video. But you can definitely paint a jellyfish with any colour paints and I think it would actually be really cool to paint this in lots of different colour palettes, so don't be surprised if you see more jellyfish paintings on my channel in the future. And that reminds me, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any of my new art tutorials. If you've seen my paintings before you'll know that I love to create really colourful artwork, particularly of animals. I also love to work with complementary colours and warm and cool tones to make the animal really stand out from the canvas. I think these effects work really well with this jellyfish painting. The warm colours from the glow of the jellyfish really contrast with the cool blue tones of the background. This helps to make the painting pop and look even more colourful. Learning colour theory was one of the most important things that I did for improving my art and I believe that understanding colour can really make a difference to your painting. Even if you prefer to use a more muted colour palette, understanding how the different colours work together is so important. I used acrylic paints to create this painting. I love to use acrylics as I just find them so easy to work with. Even though the quick drying time can sometimes be a downfall, it is actually really useful when you like to work in layers. I usually work in layers when creating a painting, particularly if it's a small painting like this one. The first layer maps out all of the colours and gets the paint on the canvas, and then the second layer adds detail and texture and brings the whole piece together. If you are working in acrylic paints and they are drying too fast, then you can always add in slow drying mediums to slow the process down, which can help a lot with blending. I did quite a lot of blending in this painting, so using mediums did really help. I continued to work in layers, adding more detail and texture to the painting until I was happy with how it looked. Sometimes just moving the paint around and adding contrast and extra colour can pull the whole piece together and make it complete. This jellyfish was so much fun to paint and I also think that they're a great animal for beginner painters too as you can really experiment with composition and colours and you can't really go wrong.
hope you liked watching the process of this jellyfish painting. Don't forget to subscribe to see more videos like this.